Hey, welcome back. So we're almost finished with our drawing of a dog's eye. Now in this video, we're going to be uh, drawing in the fur around the eyes a little bit more. So let's begin by working on this area right here. We'll refine this part that we put in in the previous video. Okay, so first I'm, what I'm going to do is shape this uh, block of fur to match what I see in the reference. So I'm just going to take my kneaded eraser here and sharpen it to a precise edge and then I'm going to take it and in the reference I notice that there are lighter fur going in this direction here upward. So I'm going to take the kneaded eraser and just sort of flick upward in that direction to mimic those fur and I'm also going to cut into this shape here to have the the shape matches the reference all right and as you can see that's giving us a, a very nice effect where it looks like there's a grayish layer of fur growing in that area which looks really good okay so I'm gonna keep going with that kneaded eraser and as it gets dark I'm gonna make a new edge and just sort of go up and create more of these white fur sticking into the darker area. Okay, so I'm gonna t the the dark tone is a little bit too dark for the needed eraser to cut into. So I'm gonna take the HB pencil and I'm going to create a lighter gray tone next to it and this is going to help me create that layer of gray fur that stands between the dark and the white I'm using the flat part of the pencil here. I'm holding it very flat against the paper and using that to put in a light layer of tone. Okay, so now that we have that layer put in, I'm going to take my eraser again and add in the little stripes. So you can see that's giving us a nice fur effect there. And then I'll take my mechanical pencil and accent some of the some of the stripes. And I'll also do it for the other side as well. Okay, so now that we sort of uh, refine this area to make it look a little bit more fuzzy and fur-like, I'm going to take my mechanical pencil now and darken in this area with uh, heavier strokes and my goal is to darken not only darken the area but also give it texture as well and here I am paying close attention to the reference to keep the direction of fur flow and also to keep the shape of this patch of fur as accurate as possible
and I'll take my kneaded eraser and sort of take in some of the fur as I see fit. Okay, so now in the reference we can see that there's these really long strands of black hair growing out of this patch. So we're going to take the mechanical pencil and replicate that. So I'm just going to pick a spot where I want to start and then very quickly make a dark stroke. So some of these I didn't quite make it long enough so I'm just going to very carefully extend it with the mechanical pencil. And then we'll add in just a few short subtle ones just to mix things up a bit. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now I want to take my 6B pencil and really darken in the very core of this patch of fur here. Partly because the tone in the reference is very dark, but also partly because I want to camouflage some of the root of these hair so that it looks more natural. Okay, so that looks a lot better. Now that we have that part finished, let's work on adding some fur uh, to this area right here. We won't draw in the whole area, but I do want to add in some fur right here just so that this part just doesn't look quite so lonely. So we're going to take that HB pencil and holding the pencil flat against the page, I'm going to make light, very light, because the fur in this area is very light so we just want to put in some gray tone in that area and then we're gonna pick out some highlights with the kneaded eraser later so the most important thing here is to one keep your touch light vary your strokes and be sure to mind the direction of the fur flow And this area down here is a little bit darker in the reference, so I'm going to make that a little bit darker as well. And before we go any further, I'm just going to go ahead and erase this guideline, this guideline here that we put in for the fur, just so it doesn't interfere with what we're drawing right now. We pretty, we pretty much know where to put the fur at this point, so we don't need those guidelines anymore. Alright, back to the shading. Okay, so just using light, flickery strokes. Putting in a few dark strokes here and there, just to mix it up. Okay. So we got a good layer of tone put in. Now I'm gonna take my kneaded eraser, my trusty kneaded eraser, and form a sharp edge. And then we'll pick out some highlights. Okay. Okay, 
Okay, and then once we have the highlights picked out, I'm going to take my mechanical pencil and go in there and again accent these highlighted areas. And I want to do it sparingly. Don't overcrowd the fur with highlights everywhere. So now we're going to tackle this area right here. So once again I'm going to take my HB pencil and laying the pencil flat against the page I'm going to draw in an array. We're pretty much doing the same thing here as we did up here. And just to make sure that the these this patch of fur stands out from this patch, I'm going to leave this patch slightly lighter. That might not be accurate with the reference, but I think that's going to make the picture look better. So I'm going to make a an artistic license, take some artistic license there. Just for the fun of it, I'm just going to blend it very, very lightly just to see what happens. We just want to make this fur a little bit different, maybe have it appear a little softer than the previous batch. Okay, so now we'll take our needed eraser again and put in the highlights. And for this one, I want to really make sure that my highlight goes into this area here, just a tad bit. So we want to go across the border and have the highlight goes as if the furs are overlapping. Okay, We want to create that effect. Okay, so that looks really nice. And I'm gonna take my mechanical pencil and very subtly, we don't wanna make it, cause that, look, that looks good as it is, I really like that. But I wanna make it pop a little bit more. So I'm gonna take my needed erase, um, excuse me, mechanical pencil and just darken the tone around these highlights, just a tad bit, okay? Just, just to make them stand out a little bit more. Not too much because then it becomes too obvious, but I just want to make them pop a little bit. And we'll do the same up here. Okay, and then uh, also add a little texture down here.
Okay, so the fur looks really nice. I really like how it makes the picture look. Things are really starting to come together now. Uh, so go ahead and add in this layer of fur for your drawing, and then I'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this video. And if you'd like to learn more about drawing animal portraits, please check out my brand new home study course on how to draw animal portraits. In it, you'll learn all the techniques for drawing fur and all the parts of an animal portrait. And by the end of the course, you will have drawn a complete animal portrait from start to finish, just like this one here. So to learn more about this course, please just click on the link right below this video. And as always, for more free lessons and tutorials, please visit mydrawntutorials.com. Thank you and happy drawing.